Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can send MS form response to a customized PDF using Power Automate. This is my feedback form which I've created. What I want when I submit this particular form, a customized PDF should be generated automatically like this. So this is a customized format of a PDF which I've created using a HTML structure. That HTML structure look like this. So this is PDF layout.html file which I've created. I have added some style sheet here as well as some UL analyze and some div tags. Also you can see that some of these uh, tokens with the curly braces to actually replace the MS forms dynamic content. So let's just talk about how we can achieve this using Power Automate. I will go to my Power Automate here and try to create an instant flow trigger point MS form when a new response is submitted. Pick form name. As you know, my form name is feedback form. Get response detail of MS form. Form identifier feedback form. Response ID will be unique identifier of this form. And now the basic step has been created. The next one which we have to do is we have to get the files, basically the HTML file. For that purpose, we have to uh, host our HTML file somewhere either to your OneDrive or either you can save that to your SharePoint Online library as well. So in my case, I'm just dropping this into my OneDrive. This is PDF layout.html here. I'll go into my Power Automate get file content i'm using onedrive that's why i've selected onedrive i'll choose root and this is the pdf layout.html click on this one so we have our get file content with us so now the next step which i have to perform is generally when we perform the step uh, to create a pdf or uh, the normal pdf we uh, perform a select option here but here in my case i'll use a compose one to basically get each and every form columns to that particular compose and that uh, uh, you know generate that result of compose to my html format compose action it's part of data operations compose and in the compose what i have to write is I have to replace the value actually. I'll go in the expression, type replace, and uh, so the expression of replace is like uh, the first will be the string, and the second one will be the one which we want to replace with the third one. So, first of all, in our case, the string uh, where I want to perform the action will be basically our get file content. So in the dynamic content, I'll choose the get file content as you can see here. And uh, now I'll go to here, comma, in a quotes, I will put this first curly braces that is our submitter token and paste it here inside the code and uh, comma want to replace it with which as you can see in my HTML it is submitted by so in our case the get response detail some responder email we will choose this one and I will click on OK right so this is the compose one we have created so I can write all of these uh, questions to this particular compose using one replace command but that will be a you know complex one and uh, difficult to debug so i'll uh, write a different compose step to actually perform all of these the next compose uh, i'm gonna write is for submission time so again i'll choose the expression replace to show you how it's actually done and uh, in this particular one now what i have to choose is 
I have to choose the dynamic content of the output of a compose, right? So now I'll not choose the get file content. I'll choose the output of this compose so that uh, whatever the output this compose has will be captured into compose 2 as well. So I've chosen the compose and the next one will double quotes will be submission dd and uh, from the get file content it will be our submission time that's it and if i perform the next one i'll get the compose to response likewise i'll perform this for all of these uh, question item i have created so i'll get back to you once i complete this So I have successfully completed all the compose step here. So next one I have to perform is create file OneDrive for business create file I'll choose the folder path will be root one and the file name is I'm gonna choose uh, responder email dot html all right this is the one which i'm going to choose and uh, file content will be my compose 9 output basically the last one because uh, it is uh, capturing all these compose step into the last one so the the result output will be into a compose 9 so that's why I'm selecting output as a compose 9. So the HTML file should be saved. Once this is saved, I will convert this HTML file. One right for business. Convert file. File will be create file ID. And uh, the target type will be a PDF one. Once it is converted, create the converted file into a PDF. Create file folder path will be our root folder and file name will be convert file file name file content will be convert file file content and that's it a, a PDF will be created and in case you want to send that PDF to your email ID so what you can do is you can select get file content one drive for business get file content will be create file 2 and uh, now type send email I'm gonna send this to myself you can send it to anyone you want. Subject will be the training which I've attended. And uh, body will include attachment. So the attachment will be get file. So the attachment name will be you can select any name create file okay yes create file to name I can give it and uh, attachment content will be 
get file content to file content basically our this one and uh, into body we can just say pfa so that is there and uh, after that in case you want to delete the file that has been created to your onedrive you can perform that step as well i'm not performing that step right now but you can do by just adding a delete step here so i'll just save my flow and uh, submit ms form response and we'll see how it goes on learn and take contact number will be anything i want date of attendance which training yes and submit a response has been submitted we'll go to our flow you can see our flow is running it's saying your flow ran successfully meanwhile i'll go into my this one drive as you can see here a pdf is also created here as you can see uh, as the required format we need a pdf has been created here so now i'll go to my email as well to check whether i received the email or not so as you can see power bi with the subject name and uh, the pdf i got here i can just open this pdf into my web as well as into my so this is uh, what we have submitted and this is what the customized format of pdf we have generated i can download this pdf and uh, can open this with to my desktop pdf reader and this is how it's look like into my desktop pdf reader that's the way you can customize your uh, pdf using html i will post this particular html layout into either my comment section or a description so you can uh, pick it up from there in case you want to create the same kind of structure i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching